Hello and welcome back to another tutorial on advanced excel. This is Trisha Jokyani and today I will take you through another advanced chart and that is the waterfall chart. Waterfall chart is a special type of chart that represents how initial value is affected by increase or decrease in the subsequent values leading to a final value. This can be very useful chart when you want to show inventory throughout a particular period or show profit or loss and the net income post all expenses etc. Waterfall chart is also called as a bridge chart in Excel because it connects each data type with a line. Let's look at the chart. Before we start, please be mindful that this chart was added to Excel in Office 2016 version. However, in this tutorial, I will also cover how to create a waterfall chart in the older version of Excel. So let's begin and see our example sheet here, where I have the income or the expenses data given to me, along with the amount of the income or the expenses that I have uh, earned or incurred is given next to the category. Looking at this data, it starts the revenue, which is 32,201. Their last net income after the deduction and addition, the net income comes to 18,537. Now, I want to show this in a chart. In order to do that, if you have a 2016 or a higher version of Excel or the later version of Excel, it's very simple. You just need to keep your cursor on the database, go to the insert, and here under the chart section, you will see the waterfall chart directly, or even you can go to the recommended chart. In that option, you will easily find your waterfall chart in the third option. Or if you can't find it in the recommended chart, you can also go to the all charts and you can look for the waterfall chart in the list on the left-hand side. So three different ways to look for your waterfall chart. Once you have done that, select the waterfall chart and click on OK, and the waterfall chart is ready to use. Now, if you want to make it even more uh, presentable you can now add the chart title like we did it for each chart so i can call it income chart or income and expenses chart or i can call it a revenue chart or the sales chart whatever is more relevant to this kind of data now i can also give a particular color to the negative and the positive numbers now you can see that it automatically picks up two colors which is the blue and orange but you can change the color if you want to but let's start and see the first part of this, which is the revenue 32,201, which is, is a positive number, but it is actually the initial value. So I will change this initial value to call it as a total so that it looks it or, or it shows in a different color. So I'm going to go to right click and format data series. And you can see that on the right hand side, the format data series window is showing up. Under that, uh, the, under series options, you can see gap width, show connector lines. These are your bridge, why we call it a bridge. If you see that there is a connector line between. If you remove this grid line, you can easily see those connector lines. Let's remove our grid lines and see what are those connector lines. You can see the connector lines here. This, this is the reason why it is called as a bridge chart. Now moving back, I'm going to show you the data series. So I want to change this into total or show it in different color. What I'm going to do is ideally I can manually go and pick the colors by going selecting that particular bar and then going on to the format option and selecting the right color that I want to add to shape fill and add the color but this is still not going to be the total it will so what I'm going to do is I'll select the bar which I want to add it as a total once you select the bar which you want to change it into total you will see that in the series option you can see set as total as soon as you click on that it will automatically change the color and it will start from the zero now this number was anyway starting from zero but you see the next number it is showing that it is a negative number if you want to change the color you can do that by just selecting that go on to format shape fill and change the color to maybe red or any other color that is more suitable or that you want to add to going to the next one you can do it again red because we are keeping all the negative numbers as red and the rest all blue 5000 is let let it be blue 21928 which is your gross margin again the problem with the gross margin is this is actually the next income that means 32,201 which was the revenue out of that we have deducted these two numbers added 5,000 and this is the total again so I'm going to select this again and show that as a total so now you will see that it automatically goes on to the zero it starts from a zero and becomes like this is a total again you go back to the next one which is this number and need to show it as 
red. So I'm just going to keep that as red. Let's take the next number, which is again the taxes. So that is a negative number. I'm going to put it as red. The last one again is going to be your total. So just set it as total, and it automatically goes down. Starts from the number zero. Now, if you look at this uh, data or look at this uh, what a uh, chart, you can easily find, identify that this is actually your start number. These are your negative, or and this is your positive, and these are all the totals that you are looking at. So it's very simple to create a. chart or a waterfall chart in excel 2016 or the later version however if you want to create the same chart in the previous versions of excel which is 2013 or the previous one then it becomes a little challenging because we don't have that chart with us so then what do we do then we will have to create a separate calculation i'm going to cut this space and cut this chart and put it in another sheet so it doesn't disturb us here now i'll go back to the sheet and let's create a calculation where i am able to use this data to create my waterfall chart so i'm going to select this copy and put it in another cell because my original chart is linked to this so i'm not going to change this database i am going to call this income expenses now comes my base data or the initial data that you want to call it then i'm going to put up the increase or the decrease so i'll say increase decrease so i have to calculate all these amounts and the final value Or the total. If you want to call it, call it a total, as it is shown in the waterfall chart. That is also fine. Now, now that I have this data, I'm going to calculate it in such a way so that gives me the initial value with the increase or decrease that has happened in the value. How am I going to start? Very simple. First, I'll take this value and put it in the total column. Now, I need to check whether there is an increase or the decrease. So let's. begin with the decrease value so i'll use an if function to identify if there is any decrease in the value how will i do that i'll say if this value which is j3 is less than or equal to 0 so if it is less than 0 that means it is negative i'm trying to say if it is negative then give me minus of j3 that means if it is a negative number the minus minus will become positive comma if it is not negative give me zero i do not want to know if it is not negative now i can drag this value down to get the result you can see that all the negative numbers are now showing in positive that means it is showing that these are all the decrease values moving on to the increase value where i am trying to understand if there is any increase in the data so then just opposite of the decrease value that we had calculated i am going to do if this is greater than zero that means it is there is some positive value then give me j3 or give me zero So where there, wherever there is a positive value, it will automatically give me that data. Now I need to calculate the initial value or the base. So here, how will I calculate it? The first value, the initial first value, revenue is not going to be there. I'm going to start with the cost of goods, which is the second value. Okay. How will I calculate that second value? Is by saying is equal to if there is an increase in the value, then I will say whatever the initial value is, addition to that. i will increase i'll add the increase value and then i will decrease the decrease value and i'll say this is the my initial value now i can drag this down to get the data for the rest of the thing so what happens is it automatically looks at the base value whenever there is increase or decrease it will automatically deduct that number and then give me the rest of the number so you can see that if 32000 minus 86 which uh, 8 Two seven three. It comes to twenty three nine twenty eight, which is automatically picking up here. So this we have identified the number which needs to be shown in our waterfall chart. Now comes the next one, where how to create a waterfall chart. So I will create a a bar chart. A uh, sorry, a bar stack column chart. to do that i'll go on to insert by selecting only this much not the total because initial value already has the total so insert go on to the column chart under the stack column chart select that and here you go you have the stack column chart in front of you and you can see that it is giving you the value one under the other now what is happening here is very clearly you can see that a number is shown to you wherein the total numbers are shown so look at the legend first So it becomes easier to us for us to read it. I'm moving a little right so that we can only see our data, the calculated data, and the chart. 
Congratulations on completing the business dashboard using Excel course. Ready to elevate your career? Join our postgraduate certificate in data science and AI and gain exclusive benefits like a complimentary Python programming bootcamp, 7 plus case studies, dedicated student support and access to our job opportunities portal. Don't miss out on this chance to transform your career. Invest in yourself today and join our program. Click on the link in the description to enroll now and take the next step in your career journey so the revenue that we have is the positive number is showing to us in the orange or which you are looking at right now the revenue amount the decrease that we have or this this amount if you let's let's add the data label so it becomes even more simpler to read it so look at the data labels that it is showing you here it is showing you the amount which is three numbers of course the zero is not going to be shown here so the increase that we have is in the orange the Initial val uh, value that is the total that we have is in the blue color and your decrease is, is in the gray color. We can change the color as we wish to do that. So we can actually select orange and because it is the initial value, we can make it to gray so that it is exactly looking as what we were looking for. So shape. The rest are showing it to you uh, in gray and blue. So we know that the amount that we have here for initial value is definitely your gray color that is the initial value so i'm going to remove the zeros where i can see zeros there i don't want to show zeros so that it doesn't make sense to or rather what i can do is i can remove the zero in the first place where we have it here so whenever there is a zero it should not show up instead what i can do is i can change the data labels in such a way that whenever there is a zero it should not show up so i'll go on to format data labels go on to numbers under the numbers in the general i can just put hash comma hash hash so it doesn't show me zero at all so wherever there is i just have to select each one of them go and select hash 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 comma hash hash and add it so that zero is hidden so it's not shown now that i have this i can move on and now see which one i do not want from this list now what is it that i do not want from this list in the first place definitely i want to show the first place the um, amount of initial value that is given which is the 32,201 so I'll leave that but when I come down there is a decrease of 82373 so I'm going to remove this data completely I do not need this so when I'm doing that I'll have to be careful because if I remove it completely what will happen is it is going to remove the data completely from that list so I cannot delete that data but I'll have to color it in such a way so that it doesn't show up at all. So what color can I show it in? I can just color it in or shape could be a transparent color, which is no color at all. So I can just say no color, no fill. And I can remove the data labels from this. And now you can see that I can format the data label in such a way so that my data labels are shown on the top and not inside the data. So I just go on to the data labels. I say, side end so it looks a little better so it looks a little neat as compared to what it was looking otherwise so it, it doesn't look that bad so here we go we have the data with our initial value the initial thing that we had done we have been able to uh, get the data in the gray wherever uh, where the uh, starting point is but if you see that this part is not supposed to be gray if the 5000 is actually a positive so I'll have to go back and color it in blue. So I'll do it shape fill and make it to blue so that it looks a positive number. This number is showing you in the gray because that is actually your total or the remaining amount. However, you would notice that while your initial value is showing from the zero, the other two totals are showing a little above the value. Why is that happening is because we have done a manual thing where we have removed the color from the bottom and kept the color on the top. While you can see that both the values are the same because of the initial value and this number being the same, what we can do is in this case, I can keep this color as gray, which is the total and remove the color from this part of the bar. So what I'll do is I'll go back to the shape fill and remove the color saying no fill on the top and going down and fill the bottom one with the gray color. So it looks like it is trying to from the down. So we, these are all backgrounds that we are doing in order for it to look like a waterfall chart if you do not have a version which is higher than 2000, uh, 2016 or higher. So I'm just going to take the gray color, remove the data labels. Each data label I'll have to remove. So just click once and then click it again. 
and then go on to this and add a data label only for this part so again going on to data label again going on to this one and then add data labels once you do that here you go it looks like exact waterfall chart now you can add the chart title you can uh, also remove the grid lines and make it more presentable so this is how you can create your waterfall chart if you have a 2016 version and if you do not have a 2016 version also these are just the workarounds that you are looking at and it looks exactly like your waterfall chart that we had seen there hope you found this useful and keep watching for more of such uh, advanced chart videos which we are going to show you and thank you for watching